Dude, Lorenzo might look like he's struggling with this eight foot net, but guys, in this video, quick video, we're gonna show you how Lorenzo learned how to pancake an eight foot net, deep sinking net, during his COVID quarantine. Lorenzo, are you, are you ready? You ready, guys? Check out this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below whether or not you think an 11 year old can pancake an eight foot net. Check this guys out. Check this out, guys. We didn't put our quarantine to waste. Lorenzo, how does that taste? <laughs> like garbage. <laughs> like garbage. All right, but you're going to throw the net. Guys, check this video out. Some big palm trees. All right, Lorenzo. It is our first. Bro, you just confused a peacock bass with a bluegill. Had a Is this? How do you feel right now? You feel nice right now? Yes. We weren't able. You know what sucks? We built a dock, but we're not able to get shiners or any or any kind of bait. Yeah. Anything. So you can't fish. Well, yeah, we've been having a hard time getting bait from our new dock, but I think it's the time of year. Might have something to do with it. Uh, but we are going to go get some shiners right now. Lorenzo, you're going to throw our eight foot net. Is that correct? No promises. No promises. No, I'm going to try. It's yeah. going to Dude, you're going to do it. I, I have a feeling you're going to pancake the eight footer and we're going to score one a bunch done. of shiners. One and done. Well, I don't know about a one and done. I don't know about a one and done. A couple and done. All right, guys, I got to be honest with you. Uh, that is very impressive to me that my son is pancaking an eight foot net. And he's, he went on to YouTube and he found a bunch of different ways to throw. And he just sat out in our backyard throwing the net over and over and over it's again. Over. And so I'm very proud of him. Um, that, that net, I mean, the, the one that I think my dad's going to show you guys, we posted that one on TikTok. Yeah. But I got a lot better since then. Yeah, dude, Lorenzo's tearing it up. So I am very excited to see how Lorenzo opens the eight-foot net up on some shiners. Uh, hope you like the, the, the COVID beard. Um, you know, actually, this is the first time I've ever cut my beard. Guys, comment down below. Do I lose the beard or do I keep it? I would like to hear what you think. Lorenzo likes it. I like it. I think my wife kind of likes it. We'll see what happens uh, when she tries to kiss me. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> we'll see. What, what's wrong, Lorenzo? Yeah. Oh, all right, guys, let's catch some shiners. All right, so we're gonna throw some of the chum, like literally right here. Yeah, what do you think, what do you got there? Ooh, a little bit of- like a little bit of vomit. <laughs> a little bit of shiner vomit right there, baby. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna tie up the anchor to the back so that the front swings out to this open area this is where you're going to want to cast right here okay so i would throw the chum right where your big spit wad is beautiful beautiful look at that oh my goodness in a couple minutes we'll throw in a few more guys and we're going to see how lorenzo pancakes this i have my hopes up very high this is my this is my eight foot deep sinking uh ballyhoo net and Lorenzo has been practicing, so we're gonna see how he pancakes it. Ooh. Dude, stuff's already hitting. Where'd he hit the he hit, he's bread. eating the flour, not the bread. That's okay. He'll okay, figure it that's out. A shiner. That's a shiner. Is that a shiner? Oh, dude. The Rolls house is awesome, man. Yeah, those are shiners. All right, get ready, buddy. Actually, shiners. there's actually shiners hitting on all sides. I think we're gonna be successful. I think a couple of Lorenzo is all set up. Lorenzo, you set up? Are you going to be able to pancake this bad boy? Uh, <laughs> We're going to find out. Guys, do you want to see Lorenzo pancake this eight foot net? Okay. All right, I'm going to roll him closer and then I'm going to throw it in slow-mo so Lorenzo can light these shiners up. Check this out. Hey. Okay, you gotta get it closed. Okay, you gotta get it closed. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Here, 
All right. That, the problem with this, guys, there's so many weeds, it's hard to close it. You gotta, huh? I see shining down there. Okay, Renzo, you're about to pull up onto the boat. Your first ever. Dude, look at that. Look at that. Look at all the shiners. Look at the shine. Here, wait, wait, wait. Ready? Look at the shiners, guys. Whoa. Whoa. It's shiny heaven. It's shiny yeah. heaven. It's shiny heaven. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at the shinies. Look at the shinies. What do you think? About like eight baits already? Oh no. No, no, no. You got it. We're over a dozen. Already? We're over a dozen. Absolutely. Lorenzo, I'm very proud of you for pancaking your eight foot net. Uh, that was actually very impressive. Huh? Lorenzo's now a little bit wet. Yeah, uh, I would throw right there, but I just throw some chum. Come on, man. Tear it up, dude. Dude, just tear it up, man. You got you got to get it over the trolling motor. You, just, you have to be able to do that. Come on. Do it. Look at the pancake. Look at the pan pancakes in the evening is what I like. Come on, baby. Got to close that net. See, guys, the problem with this place is that there's so much eelgrass everywhere. It's very hard. It's very hard. Well, we have a lot of eelgrass. Let's see. There's not bring anything up from the Nothing. No shiners that time, dude. Yeah, we didn't throw it on on the on the bread. Like, look, look, look. Okay, no. ready? Yeah, Here. I need to throw now. You got okay. Lorenzo's second cast. Don't rip the net. Was not as impressive. The actual cast was impressive. The cast was good. There was just no shiners there. So that mess out of the net before we throw again, guys. The problem with throwing these big nets, especially for a smaller guy, like my my son who's 11, is that once you throw the net once, it's already heavy. It already weighs. A good 30 pounds at least. Uh, but now that it's wet, it, it probably doubles in its weight. And it, as soon as you put any of this like weeds and stuff in the bottom, it triples the weight. It triples the weight. So we got to try and get rid of some of that stuff. Look, oh, look at that nonsense. Okay, let me get rid of this. But guys, believe it or not, as much of annoyance as this eelgrass is, this is why all these shiners are here. This is where they live. So they live in that stuff. All right, guys. After a minute or two of waiting, the shiners are starting to pop here again. Lorenzo, I would say whenever you feel ready, I would I would go, man. No, it's all. Right. Oh, save it, save it, save it, save it. Okay. <laughs> all right, come on, start start pulling it in. Nudge it, nudge it, nudge it. We're gonna be more successful this time. I have a feeling. Here, use the edge of the boat to push the horn down. There you go. So it could be, guys, that the eelgrass actually holds the net up so that the shiners can can escape. There's one in there, at least. Yeah, there's one shiner in there. I think there's more than one. There you go. Pull it to the side a little bit more. Get ready? Yeah, we're ready, man. Get it up here. Get it up here. All right, we got, what, four? Four or five? Yeah. Okay, come on, open it up. Well, it's kind of nice being dry. Dude, look at all the shiners eating behind you. Here, let's, I don't know, wait, 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 wait. All right, guys, so here's what happens. There's a slow current going out that way. And as the as the bread drifts, the shiners go with it. But we just threw a bunch more bread pieces right here. And they're starting to hit. You just got to kind of wait and be patient. And be cool. I'm sitting here trying to paddle with one hand and film. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take a stab at this. Show my boy how it's done. We're waiting for some of the shiners to show up, start popping on top. Do you see anything? All I see is where we didn't throw chum. Yeah, oh, one right there. They're starting to pop. They're all over here. I think they're a little leery of the boat, but guys, but uh, guys, we're gonna do this, and I'm gonna pancake this bad boy. Here they come to start eating. Ready? Do it, do it. Flip it slow. That probably got 
got them. I think we got some. I think we got some. Just a little. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I think we got some. Drop the phone. Don't drop the phone. Okay, now bring it over here so we, so we can show the Watcherlet fans. Do we have any? You have. Oh, yeah, you have. I Are they outsmarting us? No, it's, it's the uh, the heel graph that won't let the next one. Okay, you filming? Yep. Just keep the, keep the camera in okay. okay. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see. Let's see how many I pull up out of this. Oh! What do we got? Like three. Oh, McDaddy. Dude. Dude, that's like a quarter pound of cheese right there, man. All you right. got a cup? Yeah, you got some decent. I got, I got a decent amount of shiners, guys. Let's count how many shiners I get. All right. Ready? Yeah, man. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Six, six, seven. 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 Almost a dozen in that throw. You want to throw again? Up to you. Kind of want you to throw again. You want me to throw again? Yes. yes. Almost three dozen. One more throw. You can stop throwing. Oh. All right, Lorenzo doesn't want his, his little five foot net to feel lonely. So he's going to throw real quick. It's, it's amazing how small it looks compared to the eight footer. But uh, go ahead and pull that in, buddy. See what we can pull up. Yeah, you know you don't, you don't really need the great. You don't really need the great big net. Uh, Lorenzo actually caught. That's a golden shine. Dude, look at that. That's a golden. What's up with that guy? He's like. I got a couple. Big boy. Oh, you got four shiners, dude. That's actually not bad. You got four shiners with the five foot net. I think we should just throw that one from now on. Okay, so, oh, I don't know this. what's up with the coloration on this guy. Let me see that. He's like, like super golden. That is a golden shiner. Put, put, put the other one next to him. I don't know why this one is so much more gold versus silver. I don't know why, but oh, let's get him in the bucket. Let's get him in the bucket. All right, tarpon food in the pot. Dude, we've got Look at in here, guys. We've got about three dozen baits. We're probably good to go fishing. Well, we still want more because we're greedy. <laughs> no, actually, I think let's just take one or two more casts, Lorenzo, and uh, we'll, we'll call it a day. Okay, Lorenzo is going to throw one more with a five-footer. Starting to get a little dark. Lorenzo, I'm proud of you, buddy. We're going to go ahead and sign off. I see gold happening inside of that net. Did he get out or did you get him? All right, one shiner, two shiners, two one shiners, sh three, three, shiners. Three, three golders, three golden shiners. We're gonna do this a couple more times, but guys, time for the outro. All right, Lorenzo, as he throws one more cast, guys, just wanted to say how proud I am of my boy for pancaking the eight foot net multiple times, catching bait for us. That's my boy, that's a fisherman right there, guys. If you ever wanted to know what a fisherman looked like when he's 11, that is what they look like right there. So guys, if you like the video, <laughs> did you just screw up a cast? Yeah. All right, well, scratch that from the record. He just filled this live well full of bait. Give me a thumbs up, guys. And he's still got it, he's still got a big fish. Give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. Check it out, he's got something. He's got a bluegill in there. Keep no, we're not keeping the bluegill. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to comment whether or not you like the Corona scruff beard that I have going. Um, it is what it is, guys. We're going fishing in the morning, so stay tuned for an episode and see how we do fishing all these shiners in the canal out here. We can get peacock bass, largemouth bass, snook tarpon. Uh, who knows what other predatory fish live in these canals in urban Broward County. But guys, signing off for now. Till next time, watch your lip. And nothing on that one. <laughs>